The xlookup function is a modern replacement for older lookup functions such as the vlookup and the index match function. It is available in the Office 365 version of Microsoft Excel. One of the benefits that the xlookup has is that it allows us to specify a value if our lookup value is not found within our lookup array. We do this by populating the fourth parameter of the xlookup, which is the not found parameter. This negates the need to use an if error formula before a lookup function. So let's look at the, this example and let's look at the parameters we will need to do this example. So the first parameter we will need is our lookup value, which is the value we want to be searched for. Our lookup array is the range of values that we want to look look for, that we want to look through for our lookup value. And then the return array is the value we want is the range of values that we want returned from. And then we're into the optional fields. Down here are the optional fields. And the first optional field is the not found value. So this is the value that will be returned if our X lookup is unable to find the lookup value within the lookup array. So let's look at an example here. Here we have names in column A and we have lookup data in the table to the right here. I want the salary returned for the for the name specified in column A. But if if the name in column A isn't present in the table to the right, I want I want it to return a text value saying unavailable. So I open up my X lookup. I look up, I, first thing is my lookup value, which in this case is the name. I then need to select the lookup array, which is the name in the lookup data. So that's the data here in column H. And then I need to lock that table by getting these dollar symbols around it. And then we're looking up for our return array. So what we want returned is the salary. So we want the data that's in column F. Again, I need to lock that for when I drag it down later. And then now we're in our if not found parameter. And here is when we get to specify what value we want returned should the lookup value. So should Anya Barnwell not be present in the table, what value do I want returned? And I want to specify text, so I open up the quotations. I simply type unavailable, close quotations, and then I'm going to close this X look up here because I'm going to let it, I'm not going to populate the match mode or the search mode in this example because it'll automatically default to an exact match and a search from first match. And so on your barnwell is present but if i drag it down for brian barrett and sean Bourne, whose names aren't present here 